Prepare for IELTS, Speaking Test Part 1, Examples. Introduction. In this video, we will be presenting four different examples of IELTS Speaking Test Part 1 interviews. These examples will help you get a better idea of what to expect on test A and how to prepare for this important section of the exam. If you're new to the course, we recommend checking out our previous two videos, Speaking Test Structure and Marking and Speaking Test Part 1 Tips and Strategies, which provide a detailed overview of the test format and some valuable tips for success. Now, I would like to ask you some general questions. Let's talk about what you do. Do you work or are you a student? Actually, I'm studying Hong Kong University for Program English. How long have you been studying there? Uh, just uh, six months till now. Uh, actually, this is my first semester. What do you like about studying there? It's a nice place to study there. Um, it's um, nice rooms and my teachers are nice. I like my friends and yeah, it's, it's a good place and I like it. Is your university close to your home? Yes. My home is uh, in five minutes from the college. How do you travel? I travel bus. Um, just 10 minutes, but there's much traffic on roads. Now let's talk about food. What kind of food do you like to eat? I like to eat dim sum. It's national food in this country. Why? Because um, it's very delicious and it's traditional. What sorts of new food would you like to try? I'm not sure about that, but, but maybe I would like to try some Mexican food, like um, fajita. Yeah. Why? Um, I'm interested in Mexican food because I like the spicy. And I'm interested with these national dishes uh, and some friends talk about it and so I'm interested in trying this dish. And do you cook for yourself? Actually, uh, not too much. I actually just like to eat. Uh, cooking, I'm, I'm not good and my mother is good. Um, I, I'm not cooking. Why not? Uh, I don't like, I, I don't know how to cook and I didn't like to cooking. Do you prefer eating at home or in restaurants? Um, actually, I prefer my mom cooking because it's a great cooker and there's a benefit at home. But sometimes I don't have someone to cook, so I just eat food in restaurant. What type of restaurants do you like? Usually, I like like, like pizzas, um, burgers, and noodles. Lots of food like that. Now, let's talk about friends. What do you like to do with your friends? Um, usually, going to cinema and watch together film and sometimes have dinner. Why? Because we have good time and we laugh, we talk a lot. Have you kept in contact with friends you had as a child? Not really, because um, we have a lot of chance to get on with new friends in their lives, so no. Why not? Because I come from Shenzhen, and now I live in Hong Kong and university in Hong Kong. So I have chance to make lots of friends, and I enjoy very much. How do you usually communicate with your friends? Uh, it depends. Um, some I see every day in class or library, so speak to each other. And friends not in Hong Kong, I text my phone and or use online. What do you think a good friend is? Um, I think um, support each other. Like um, I feel sad and. Um, my friends helps me and ask if I okay or not. Do you work or are you a student? Uh, I'm a student. What are you studying? 
I'm studying、uh, engineering. Why did you choose to study this subject? I don't really know.、Uh, my parents thought it would be、uh, a good thing for me to study, and、uh, I did well at mathematics at high school. So I thought it might be interesting. It's okay, I guess. Have you made many friends on the course? Yes, yes, I, I have. Uh, there are some great guys on my course. Sometimes we get together and study after class, and drink coffee, chat, that kind of thing. Let's talk about keeping fit and healthy now. What do you do to stay healthy? Well, I try to watch my diet.、Uh, I try to eat healthy foods. You know, fruit, vegetables, but I really love meat too. I think my diet is pretty good. Do you do any exercise? Yeah, sure, from time to time. <laughs> What kind? Well, I try to go to the gym once or twice a week,、uh, and I like going for walks in the evening when it's a bit cooler. How active were you when you were a child? Oh, very active. Yes, I was always、uh, playing with my brothers,、uh, fighting, wrestling, playing games. You know. How important is it for children to be active? Oh, very important.、Uh, nowadays, kids just play video games all day. They don't get enough exercise, in my opinion. They're just couch potatoes. <laughs> Now let's talk about the weather. What kind of weather do you like best? Rainy weather, definitely. Why? Oh. Because it rarely rains in in my region, so when it does, everyone is really happy, and it cools down the temperature too. Have you noticed any changes in the weather recently in your country? Any changes,、uh, like climate change? Oh well, I guess it's changed a little. People say it's hotter than it used to be, but I'm not really sure if that's true. What do you like to do in winter? Well,、uh, the winter in my country is、uh, quite short. It's nice to get outside and go for a walk.、Uh, you can in winter because it's not so hot.、Uh, I sometimes go horse riding too.、Uh, I belong to a club, and I go there、uh, a bit at weekends.、And、that's really fun. So I'd like to begin by asking you some questions about your education. Um, what is the education system like in your country? We have ten、uh, years of schooling, two years of junior college, and then、uh, three or four years of graduation course, depending on which course you take up. And later, whoever wants to study ahead, they could have their masters done in two, and PhD could take a little longer than that.、Okay. What kind of school did you go to as a child? As a child, I went to an English、uh, medium school. This is different from a convent school.、Uh, The difference being, it's not a church school. It would be、uh, a normal school, but with English as a primary subject. What was your favorite subject as a child?、Uh, I would say my favorite subject, though it changed over the years, but、uh, by and large, mathematics would be my favorite subject. Why?、Uh, because I loved numbers, and I did pretty good academically in that. So maybe that's the reason.、Um, let's discuss traveling. Do you like to travel?、Uh, yeah, though I don't get to travel very often.、Um, why?、Uh, it's because of my work, family commitments, and stuff like that. What kinds of places do you like to visit when you travel?、Uh, I like visiting places which are closer to beaches and、uh, which offer me to do some kind of physical activities, which would range from hiking or some kind of adventure sports.、Mm. And、um, what is the best place you've ever visited? The one place which I loved、uh, and that can come to my mind right now was my trip to Disney. Okay, why?、Uh, that's because that was my first trip with my child,、uh, and he was big enough so that he can remember that for the years to come. And like they say, Disney is a magical place. So it indeed turned out to be a magical place for all of us. Okay. And what place would you really like to travel?、Uh, 
Um, I would really love to travel someday to Maldives. Why? Uh, because I love, like I said, I love beaches. So mm -hmm. that's one island place. I would love to just be myself, be away from all the uh, hustle bustle of the city life. What are you studying? I'm doing a master's degree in museum studies. Why did you choose that course? I'd like to work in a museum or art gallery one day and I hope that this course will help me find a job in that sector. Do you think you will remain friends with the people from your course in the future? Yes, uh, I probably will. It's a very small course and we spend a lot of time together doing group assignments and studying. Okay. Now let's talk about your favourite place. What is the place that you most like to visit? Mm. Oh, uh, let me see now. Well, I really like going to the local library. Why do you like it there? Um, I suppose because it's quiet and it has a nice selection of newspapers and magazines. And the range of books is really good too and there's a cafe next door. How often do you go there? Probably about once a week. Is it easy to travel there? Yes, it is. I can catch a bus from my place to the shopping center where it's located. Is it a popular place for other people to visit? Yes, it is. Uh, a lot of children go there and it's very popular with students and elderly people. Now let's talk about your daily routine. Tell me about a typical weekday for you. My daily routine? Well, I'm a student, so my classes start at 8 and that means so during the week I usually get up about 6.30, um, have a quick shower, get dressed, catch a bus to university. I am always running late, so I don't have time for proper breakfast. I just grab a coffee. Um, I have classes all day and get home at about 5 p.m. And after dinner, I usually try to do some study. Do you work or study better in the morning or the afternoon? The afternoon, definitely. I'm not really a morning person. It takes a while for me to wake up properly. What would you like to change about your daily routine? Change? Um, I suppose I should try to make more time for a proper breakfast in the morning because by mid-morning I get really hungry. Is there a balance between your work time and your leisure time in your daily routine? Do you mean like is it equal? Um, yeah, I suppose so. I've been studying a lot recently because of the IELTS exam, but I have a week's holiday coming up and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'd like to do some more exercise because I think it's important to take some time out from study every day. Thanks for watching. Hopefully by watching this lesson you have learned how you can effectively prepare for the IELTS speaking test and improve your communication skills overall. If you enjoy this video, remember to follow this channel for regularly posted content. Check out the many other IELTS and academic English skills lessons and courses offered. Leave me a question or comment or just hit the like button to support my efforts to gain exclusive VIP access to downloadable exercises or to arrange a personal consultation, write to me, or go to www.practicalenglishwithdarcy.blogspot.com for more.